Our, our main focus is in, is in southeastern Europe, so Romania and Bulgaria. Um, David mentioned that there was a 300 basis point spread between Germany and southeastern Europe. In, in fact, probably a more um, relevant comparison is between perhaps the Warsaw Prime market versus Bucharest and Sofia Prime, and that spread, that arbitrage, is about 200 basis points. And it's, it's very difficult to, to justify that at all. So I think what we'll see is, given that there's virtually nothing left to buy in Central Europe anymore, you will see institutional investors move into Southeastern Europe next year. Um, there are much better quality assets to buy than there were in 2006, 7 and 8. So I think uh, investors will come into the market, and anecdotally, um, we, we've seen big investors coming in. Um, you know, Chinese investors just recently invested in Poland, but we've seen that Chinese investor already looking into southeastern Europe. Um, I think for Poland, definitely it's going to continue throughout the year. Um, will it continue to 14? Um, I think it would, if it does, or I think it would, the intention would be that it would. I think uh, what you've had in the last couple of years is a lot of very, very large sales. So I don't quite know whether there's the product to sustain it next year. But assuming the product is there, I genuinely believe the demand is there and you'll continue to see um, significant demand for Poland and the number of investors looking at Poland is dramatically increasing. Um, Southeast Europe is, um, it's not really where we invest. Um, uh, we, uh, we have some sort of longer term concerns about the markets, which I'm sure we'll discuss, but um, it's not really where we, where we invest at the moment. No, I mean you're focused mainly on on well, ma mainly the core markets of Poland yeah. and Czech, um, and I think those markets will continue to grow. I think Czech will. I think Czech suffers from the same problem that uh, and this is like a lot similar to Poland in the respect. There's a lot. There's a lack of product. Um, I think people would like to invest in the Czech Republic more, um, and you saw from the sales volumes last year that they were dramatically lower. It was just due to there was, there was there's very little product in the market. But again, I think if the product was there, people would invest in the Czech Republic. Yeah, we're We've never seen as much activity as we have on our books now. I, I think it's important to note that there's a polarization going on in the market. So assets, uh, office assets or logistics with very long weighted average unexpired lease terms are particularly liquid. There's multiple bids, benchmark yields being set. Um, retail is, uh, you know, extremely attractive right now. And I think there are certain areas, particularly Warsaw, that are um, the least saturated, ironically. So the announcement of the Bola Park transaction uh, to enter IKEA is, is also um, uh, yet to be closed, but I think indicative of these large uh, assets that have um, a defensive position in their catchment. So um, when we get into the more traditional real estate, there's just been an absence globally of capital raised in a core plus value add. Uh, pricing band. So you have the opportunistic capital that's manufacturing more core because the core exit is obvious. Um, core is underpinned by these weighted average unexpired lease terms. I would say in logistics, you're starting to see the emergence of uh, the reemergence of the logistics asset class being liquid be primarily because it's being perceived as a retail derivative. That if you believe in retail, fundamentally you have to believe in logistics. So. Um, uh, the other comment I would say is investors that we're talking to now are saying on a, on a macro basis, Asia's overheated. Um, we missed the US run. So we, we now want to get into the European recovery. Um, and within Europe, it's no longer east-west. It's rather north-south. So, um, and, and Poland is a beneficiary of that. OK, so that's some of the things in terms of the macro players who are looking at it that that's a reason for, for beginning to look at Eastern Europe where maybe they haven't been. That's correct.